Yes, indeed. Uh, I think that uh, probably faculty and methodology. When I talk about faculty, you will have uh, probably the most uh, renowned experts on international arbitration that will participate. They will devote the entire time to, to, the, to the public and to the issues that arise normally in international arbitration. Um, and they are uh, arbitrators that have been already confronted with uh, most of the current issues that now is facing uh, international arbitration uh, in practice. Um, concerning methodology, because this is going to be a very interactive uh, uh, seminar. Uh, when we talk about a master class, uh, you will have these experts addressing the public, but at the same time, you will have mock cases, you will have the opportunity to debate immediately after each scene, uh, and then the possibility to interact directly with, uh, with the experts in small groups. So I think that the uh, uniqueness of this uh, seminar uh, is both on the quality uh, of, the, of the faculty and also in the way it is uh, structured just to pre precisely give to the, to the participants not only the theory but mostly the practice uh, of international arbitration. The entire arbitration process. What's important to note is that uh, we are going to focus particularly on the constitution of the arbitral tribunal, the conduct of the proceedings, the arbitrators, normally they will master the, the arbitral proceedings and exercise the police of the procedures. So it is very important to know how to conduct from the arbitrator's perspective the, the arbitral uh, procedure. Uh, of course, the dynamics within the arbitral tribunal, that will be a unique opportunity for a council to look at an arbitral tribunal in deliberations. Uh, the drafting of the award, which is one of the key parts of uh, the role of an arbitrator, uh, and of course, uh, issues of enforcement. Um, I think that uh, what is key in this uh, aspect of the, of the methodology, again, and the, and the different topics that will be dealt with, is the fact that uh, for once, council normally will have the arbitrator's perspective about issues that they are only used to look at uh, representing the party's interest. That's a very good question. I think that as a legal practitioner, I mean, you get uh, your tools uh, acting as counsel, representing parties' interest, and having just one perspective about uh, the case and about, most importantly, about the arbitration procedure. When you are planning to, to, to be uh, an arbitrator, you have to change absolutely that uh, perspective. You will no longer be advancing a party's case, but you will be rather looking at party's expectations, uh, issues related to due process, uh, respecting and applying correctly the rules, and of course, drafting an award that will be enforceable. Those issues, normally, when you are used to act as counsel and being a lawyer or partner in a main law firm, are issues that you are not confronted with. So I think it's, it's very important when you are thinking of of having a career as an arbitrator or having appointments as an arbitrator, not necessarily a full career as an arbitrator, to be sensible to this different aspect that, of course, you are not used to when you are just a counsel for, for representing parties in, in international arbitration procedures. Okay, as you know, uh, the ICC modified uh, its rules of arbitration and the new rules are in force since January 1st uh, this year, 2012. And so this very mock case that we will use in the master class uh, is a case that will be um, under the, the, new, the new rules. Um, uh, the issues that I referred before that uh, will be dealt with during the master class will be dealt with under the perspective of the new rules. So we will make a special emphasis in the modifications that were introduced, all these modifications trying to reduce cost and expenses, the modifications concerning the intervention of new parties in the arbitration, consolidation, multi-contract, multi-party arbitration, and more particularly a new feature 
that is offered uh, in these uh, new rules, which is the emergency arbitrator. So I think that will be a wonderful opportunity for practitioners not only to get familiar to the role of an arbitrator, but also to familiarize with the new ICC rules of arbitration.